Building stronger bones requires protein. My special guest, Professor Robert Newton, explains why cancer increases the need for protein. And you mentioned, I know, which one in this important stage, um, you know, where you're trying to preserve muscle as much as possible and hence bone um, protein. Do you increase or suggest that individuals' protein in intake increases during this time? Uh, yes. So um, we in, certainly in all our research trials where muscle is an outcome, we supplement um, with um, protein and uh, we try well, we don't try, we, we get them uh, in taking um, 1.7 grams per kilogram per body weight. Yeah, so it's for most people, especially dietitians, I think, wow, that's a lot. Um, <clears throat> the general recommendation is 0.8 um, um, grams per kilogram body weight uh, for a normal healthy person. That's you know, probably very conservative, I think. Very. Um, a lot of people will, will supplement up to, say, 1.2. But there's no, it's it's no real unless they've got kidney problems or something like that. It's no issue to take them up to you know 1.6 to 1.8, um, just to make sure they've got it covered. Mainly because you know again a lot of the patients that we work with they're older, um, they're they may not have as, as good of absorption. Their their diet may not be as uh, as varied. Um, quite a lot of them if that's their if they're older they might be on a pension for example. They don't have a lot of money. Um, and so it's, um, you know, it's, it's difficult for them to get high quality protein in some cases, or mm. they just they, they can't taste it, so they don't go. You know, why would I buy a, you know, a really really high quality um, protein meal when it tastes the same as toast? Um, <clears throat> so you know, it's just it is very very important though to maintain that. With our bone studies, we do supplement them with calcium and vitamin D. It's only it's um, it's only to make sure. That the you know that we cover off on people who are insufficient. Um, yeah. and taking calcium and vitamin D on its own has really no benefit unless it's combined with exercise. Okay, and may I ask, since you mentioned you know the, the challenges of getting that much protein and the costs and um, other factors, you know, just consuming it physically, um, yeah. have you? And your lab, you know, found a particular protein, or are people drinking the protein more, or sure. I mean, we, we generally go with whey protein um, isolate um, simply because it's cheap. We don't buy a fancy brand; they're all the same. We make sure they're not made in a um, you know in a backyard or something. We we generally buy Australian, um, okay. uh, so we, you know we make sure it's from a you know it's made reputable in, in the right way from a reputable um, company. But you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, on a whey protein is, ex is extremely inexpensive. There's no point spending more for it. Um, for people that don't tolerate, you can get lactose free. But um, for a lot of people now, what we're doing is using protein um, derived from plants, so plant based. So it's generally pea or uh, some form of legume uh, that is derived from. Again, it's very inexpensive, um, it's well tolerated. Go here to check out more videos on cancer and bone health.